I think we can all agree twins are frightening and strange. We might also agree with the lessons of horror films like, The Shining and Dead Ringers. Yet one of the creepiest twin stories around are the cases of the Gibbons girls. June and Jennifer Gibbons were born in Barbados on April 11, 1963. Soon after they moved to a small town in Wales. The girls denied talking to anyone. They just spoke to each other in a made-up twin language. Occasionally to their younger sister, Rose. A psychologist once documented the girls talking secretly. She found that they were speaking English at amazing speeds. The girls were constantly harassed living in a predominantly white area. To the point where school administrators let them leave early to escape torture. June and Jennifer were sent to different boarding schools in an effort to socialize. They became catatonic soon after and have been reunited. The girls soon switched to publishing. Keeping detailed diaries. Their self-published novels were mostly packed with violent scenes. And in the literary world they received little recognition. Instead they turned for excitement and attention to petty crime. They had been captured burning a house down to the ground. Ultimately the girls withdrew from school, and from society. In 1982 the judge sentenced them to Broadmoor Prison. A high security prison for the criminally insane. On 17 counts of robbery and arson. Their inability to speak, antisocial behavior and zombie-like gestures, and intense solidarity all helped to decide to convict them. In the British asylums the Gibbons twins were kept for more than a decade. They also allegedly displayed an extremely creepy set of behaviors. They would obviously freeze in the same pose as each other, and eat on separate days. Locked away at opposite ends of the facility. And probably invited visitors to come and play with them forever and ever. The one person who managed to get through to the sisters during this period was a writer. Marjorie Wallace, who worked for the Sunday Times. She developed a bond with them during her weekly visits with the girls. However, as time went by, she found a perplexing pattern. Writings from the sisters were acrimonious. Both identified the other as a mortal enemy. Just before they were scheduled to be moved to a lower security prison, Wallace was told by the two girls, that one of them had to die so that the other could live a normal life. Then on the way to their new home. One of them did just that, Jennifer fell into a coma during the drive without warning. When Jennifer arrived there, she looked ill. She was hurried to the hospital and pronounced dead from acute myocarditis. A sudden lethal heart inflammation. This is often caused by a viral infection, drugs, or poison. In Jennifer's case, there was no evidence of any of this. The cause of her myocarditis was never recognized. She died not long after from heart inflammation. Her death is also a mystery since there were no signs of physical trauma or poison.